Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you how to release your money blocks and live in more financial abundance and freedom. Before we dive into today's lesson, I want to offer you a free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can grab it in the link below the description box and also directly on my website, heatherhakes.com. I've been rereading one of my favorite books by an author, Pam Grout. I love Pam Grout. I've had her on my podcast. But what I love about her book, she has two that I, I love most. It's called E Squared, and the one I'm rereading is called E Cubed. What she helps you do in these books is understand and, and kind of bridge quantum physics with spirituality. But she's teaching you how thoughts become things, how we live in an energetic universe. And then she walks you through nine do-it-yourself experiments so you can really put this into play. And that's what I love about her work. But one of the chapters reminded me, you know, about money. And most people have such a tight grip around money and are living in lack, scarcity, fear, and limitation. So today I want to teach you how to remove your money blocks, how to get more of what you do want. And here's what I want you to know. I'm going to walk you through these steps that I literally teach my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. And then I want you to understand that this is, think of it like a formula. So today we're talking about money. That's the condition. That's what we're putting in the blank. But you can use this for jobs, for relationships, for maybe a home you're looking for. It doesn't matter the thing, the condition, the fill in the blank, because we live in an energetic universe. Now, this is something Dr. Joe Dispenza teaches. Simple two steps, clear intention with an elevated emotion. And that's like the perfect, easy formula on how to manifest. But today specifically, I want to talk to you about money. And in Pam Grout's book, E Cubed, she talks about looking for, so this a lot has to do with our RAS, your reticular activating system, because whatever you focus on expands. Wherever your attention goes, energy flows. So in this experiment in her book, E Cubed, she talks about pennies. And she offers, just start looking for pennies on the ground. And when you find a penny to grab it and express so much joy and gratitude, like you just won the Super Bowl, even though it's a penny. Now, this is a really important point and why she's teaching you this. We live in an energetic universe. The energy that you emanate via your thoughts and emotions literally put out a vibe, a frequency, and whatever you put out, you get back. So if you are living from this joy, gratitude, love, freedom, abundance state, if that's what you are thinking and feeling, you're going to get more of that back. So finding a penny on the ground and expressing excitement and gratitude, the universe is like, oh, you like that? Let me give you more. Also in this chapter, uh, when she talks about money, is it's about giving what you wish to receive. Now, there's a fine line in this. It's not about giving to receive, but if you are showing like, hey, I have abundance because what we put out, we get back. This is law of reciprocity. So she says an example like, you know, you could take $1 bills or $5 bills or $20 bills, whatever you are in alignment with, and stick them in odd and end places to make somebody else's day. And by you doing this, again, what you put out, you get back. So let's talk about money and, and how to release that white knuckled constriction, fear, lack, and limitation. Because the truth is the universe is abundant. Look at nature. Nature is not struggling. Nature isn't just getting by. Nature isn't suffering. Nature isn't full of doubt. So let nature be your example. But let's talk about money. I talk about this often. You have to understand your subconscious programming. Now, from birth up until age seven, you are a sponge. You take in everything as fact. So what you learned at home and your community and your environment and other people, you took in other people's beliefs and experiences around money. So if you come from a home in which, you know, paycheck to paycheck or your parents fought over it or they made comments like rich people are evil, now you have subconscious programming believing 
that those with money are bad. And so of course, money would stay away from you. So that is step number one. It's awareness. You have to become aware of your subconscious programming around money. This is what Dr. Bruce Lipton says. Your life is a printout of your subconscious programming. So any area of life in which you are struggling, working really hard to get outcomes is because you have a conscious desire 5% of the picture going up against 95% of your programming, there's a misalignment. That's why you're working so hard. That's why it's not easy. Now, money can come to you quickly and easily. And I want to walk you through an experiment I teach my coaching clients. Once you've become aware of your subconscious programming around money, here's what I want you to do. Despite your current circumstances, I don't care if you're broke. I don't care if you're in debt. It doesn't matter if you're just getting by. Here's what I want you to do. No matter where you are, you can create a new future. I want you to realize and understand your current circumstances are simply a reflection of your past thinking and being. So the dollar amount in your bank account right now is just reflecting to you the alignment, the vibration, the frequency you've been with money. So if you want more, I want to teach you on how to raise your wealth consciousness, how to raise and upgrade your money mindset. Here's the experiment I want to put you on. Now, we're going to do it over a seven-day period. That way you have clear intention. You have a lot of focus because it's over seven days. Now, there's a big difference in, in trying to make it happen. And that is not what I'm talking about here. We're not manic manifesting. You're not trying to control it, manipulate. I want you to get, we're going to get clear on the dollar amount. I'm going to walk you through the process and then you're going to let it come to you however it's meant to. The how and the when are not your job. Now, I've done this for myself time and time again, and my coaching clients have gotten anywhere from a $1,200 check the next day to one of my recent clients got a $50,000 contract within four hours of doing this money experiment. So for him, he doesn't have a, a tight grip hold around money, but he's already in that wealth and abundant consciousness. And so that $50,000 opportunity came to him in only four hours. So right now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down on a piece of paper a dollar amount that you can line up with that you want to manifest and experience in the next seven days. The dollar amount does not matter because it's who you are being. So some people might be like, $500 would be amazing. A thousand, 10,000. You come up with a dollar amount. Now I'm going to walk you through on how to do this money experiment because I want you to experience how thoughts become things, how to release that money hold and step into a consistent, abundant frequency. All right, so on that piece of paper, here's what I want you to write. I am so happy and grateful now that, fill in the blank, what is that dollar amount? Now that $10,000 has come my way, And then at the bottom of it, I want you to write this or something even better. That way you're focused on that dollar amount and you are open to even more. So that is it. On the piece of paper, I want you to write, I am so happy and grateful now that $10,000 has come my way. This or something even better. And here's your only task over the next seven days. Each morning, first thing in the morning when you wake up, and the power of this is when you're in your theta brainwave state. That is when you're most suggestible and you can get through the analytical mind, out of that conscious mind, open the analytical and get into the subconscious mind. That's where you're programming your wishes and desires. So every single morning, look at this piece of paper, not only read it and say it out loud, but you have to feel the feelings of already having it. So I, as you're reading it, I want you to feel excited anticipation. I want you to feel gratitude. I want you to feel freedom and abundant or whatever those emotions are for you. You need to feel them now. Here's what Neville Goddard says about manifesting. His whole thing is that you have to start thinking from the end, not thinking of your desire, but thinking from the end. Here's why. Your mind does not know the difference between imagination and reality. So if you are mentally rehearsing, thinking and feeling this dollar amount, that that's already your reality, life will happen and bring those experiences to you. 
So that that's it for the next seven days. Wake up every single morning. And if bonus, if you want to do this at the end of the night before bed, because again, you're back in that theta brainwave state. I am so happy and grateful now that $10,000 has come my way. This or something even better. And that's your only job. You go around thinking and feeling it, feeling the abundance, and then watch the money come your way in ways you could not have imagined. I'm so excited. I want to hear from you. Please come back. Hit me on the social channels. When you put this into play, when you actually do this experiment, what's your dollar amount and how did it come your way? Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop and give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.